Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chrissy, and welcome to another vlog. Um, so, I am starting this vlog at the, at the end of day one for me, but it's fine because I'm going to be at work all week. I have um, 8 day 6, which is our on-call day, so I'm on call for six days straight. I'm on a three-day trip right now, and I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. So... I didn't start at the beginning of my day because I was at my mom's house and I was rushing and girl, I am tired right now. I didn't even feel like picking up the camera once I got to work. Look at my eyes. Like, I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see this because this lighting is trash, but my eyes are red. I am so tired, but you know what? I'm not even gonna jump into bed. What I'm gonna do is go jump into some workout clothes and work out then jump in a shower, then I'm gonna jump into bed. Um, Cause I feel like if I don't work out today, it's just, I'm gonna go downhill and I'm doing pretty good. I didn't work out yesterday. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say, hey, what's up? And let y'all know where I'm at. Um, what else was I gonna say? My hair, look at my hair, y'all. It's a twist out. I really like it. I'm mad at the front. Cause I had to finesse it this morning and I didn't want to spend too much time on my hair. Plus I wasn't home so I didn't have all my stuff available to me. Um, but I use um, Trey Lux and I use Curl La La by um, Aunt Jackie's to do this twist out. Um, so I'm hoping that it lasts me the full week. So we'll see how that goes in this vlog. Um, but yeah. What else I want to say to y'all? I feel like I'm all over the place, but I wanted to hop on the camera before I started doing anything because if I didn't do it now, then I wasn't gonna do it at all. Um, yeah, I was gonna say something else. Oh, they changed the hotel. So usually I avoid Cincinnati layovers, at least a short one like the plague, because the last hotel that we were at, it was very like old, very like dingy, the rooms, you know, the rooms didn't give you the vibe like it was clean, you know what I mean? Like, you know how you could walk into some places, like, oh, they did that. They, you know, they, they vacuumed something or, you know what I mean? The other hotel was kind of like, did they though? Like, <laughs> so I've always avoided it, but I couldn't avoid it for this trip. And I'm glad because I love this hotel. So I'm gonna give you a tour of the room. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm gonna give you a tour of the room. I'm going to show you what I packed in my bag. I think that's just going to be a standard thing every time we start off a flight attendant vlog. Um, put all my stuff away. Put all my workout clothes away. And um, I'm going to go downstairs and try to get some milk. Let me just show you this real quick in my bag because um, I wasn't having it this morning. So I'm going to just show you these two right now because I really want to talk about this. So I packed my protein powder and my collagen, right? in my bag so I can have this with me on my layover. But I didn't wanna pack any milk with me. So I was like, you know what? They said that you can put these things in any beverage. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be healthy and I'm gonna put water in my protein mix. Girl, absolutely not. I put it in here and threw that thing right away. I can't do it. So now I'm at the point where if it's not coffee or milk, I can't have my protein powder. So I need to figure that out. It seems like I'm gonna probably have to bring milk with me. Um, which is kind of annoying because I would have to put it in like a really big like thermos so that it'll last me for three days, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I was not feeling that combination and I really wanna have a protein shake because I'm not eating for the rest of the night. And I feel like I, I really need that to power through my workout. So I'm gonna go downstairs and see if they have milk and I'm gonna show you their gym because I already peeked in there and they got a Peloton bike. And I don't know if I told y'all, but I really want one, but I'm putting that on hold. But yeah, so let me show you the room. Let me stop talking. Let's go. All right, y'all, still got on my uniform, but I'm at the door. Okay, this is what you see when you walk in. To the right, you have like your little cubby area so you can put your things here. There's a little closet area with your um, iron and your ironing board and some extra 
Oh no, just your iron and your ironing board. Then you have your hangers, like I said, your cubby here. It's a little draw area. Oh, that's nice. Got your Book of Mormon. Um, then you have your coffee or your tea maker. It had like the teas and stuff here, but I moved it so I could set the camera up so I could get the angle in my intro. Um, and then here is the fridge. There's no microwave in this room. It's in the lobby, so if I wanted to heat something up, I got to go downstairs. And this is the safe. Left of the walk-in area directly across from the cubby is the bathroom. Um, love bathrooms like this. I know y'all can tell from my last vlog that I love like a modern look for the bathroom. Ooh, and the lighting looks so good. This camera is so good, y'all, because it's giving. It don't look like this in, in real life. Um, this is my uniform. Definitely forgot my pocket square, so oh well. Um, sink though, soap, that's my mask. Um, you know, your little toiletries and stuff. There's the shower. It's in the blow dryer. Let me give y'all a better look at the shower. And after that, we're in the room area. So this is a big room to me. Look at this, the bed, the bed is huge. Like, let me see if I can zoom in. So that's the bed. Then you got your little night tables on the side. You have another mirror over here. And you got all this space. Let me back up so you can see like, look at all that space. So I think I'm gonna go get the mat and lay it out right here. The TV does have, it is a smart TV, so I can watch YouTube on here and do my workout on a big screen. So struggling on my phone, I appreciate. This the little desk area. That is uh, my lunch bag, my water. I'm doing bad with drinking water today, but I'm about to fix that. This the little tea and coffee thing I was telling y'all about. Um, and then you have like your little couch. Let me see. Child. I got a I got a view of the pool. I want to show you what I packed before I put everything away. So I have some fruits, just some grapes. And then um I ate my cabbage and salmon. So I only took the semi-healthy leftovers like I was not trying to have too much carbs because I've been doing so good with cutting a lot of them unnecessary carbs out of my diet so there was no way I was gonna have no stuffing or no nothing in there like um in here I have some ackee and some cabbage so that's probably gonna be my breakfast tomorrow um and then in here this is the only thing Cause that shit was busting, okay? The only carb that I'm willing to eat for the next couple days is this baked ZD that I got in here. So, but I'm only eating like pieces. I'm, I'm not, this is gonna last me a couple days, okay? So, yeah, baked ZD in here. I bought a whole bunch of yogurts as snacks. I really didn't pack so much cause I didn't have a lot of space. So pretty much for food, that's all that I have. Okay, so I love that nobody's here so I could show y'all the gym. I might not even be able to use the audio. Never mind, it's me thinking this was a Peloton bike. 
Hey, what's up, y'all? It is day two of my trip. It is 6.35 right now, 6.38. Um, I'm pretty much dressed. I'm just putting away my stuff. Gonna try to finish off my protein shake from last night. Um, and then I'm gonna head out. Today should be a pretty easy day. I'm still a little tired. I feel like my body is catching up my sleep. And then my body is also kind of like getting used to like the, my daily routine flying. So today we're going, I'm in um, Cincinnati, Ohio. Then we're going to Salt Lake City, Utah. Then we're going to Sacramento, California. So that flight from Sacramento, Cal um, to Sacramento, California. I'm not working it, we're doing a deadhead. So pretty much a deadhead is when a flight attendant is working and you get paid, you know, your flight pay, but you're actually getting paid to be a passenger. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm also looking forward to go to Salt Lake City. So there's a restaurant that I always go to, even though I really don't want to have the extra stuff, because, you know, I'm trying to be good with my diet, I always go to this restaurant. This is something that I just always do. It's called Cafe Rio, and it's in the Salt Lake City um, airport. It's kind of like a Chipotle, but it's really good. They, have, If you eat pork, I feel like, to me, that's the selling thing. If it wasn't for the pork, I probably wouldn't always get it like that, but their pork um, burrito enchilada style sis try that if you're ever in Salt Lake so I'm gonna finish getting ready um, I wanted to show y'all how I pack because my bag is way too heavy and way too big but I already packed everything and last night I was just so tired after I got out the shower I just knocked out so maybe I'll pick up the camera when I get to Salt Lake City so I can show y'all the place if not I'll see you in Sacramento Hey, what's up, y'all? It is day two of my trip, and I'm exhausted. I'm actually not even gonna work out right now. I think I'm just gonna go lay down and try to take a nap. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to give y'all a quick room tour. I'm in Sacramento, California. This is not the hotel that I thought I was gonna be in. The other one, um, the other one that I went to the last time was in a cute little area, and that's where I thought I was going. But um, I do remember this hotel, so let me show you what it looks like. And all right, y'all. So when you walk in, you see the mirror. Um, then over here is the closet. Also has the safe in there. Your iron and your ironing board. I didn't even look at the bathroom yet. This is the bathroom. Let's get a little light. Okay, who can you see? Right, yep, this is the bathroom. Nothing too fancy. And then we have a fridge. Again, no microwave. But I do have a fridge. And y'all, when I put my food in the fridge yesterday and turned it up, all my stuff was frozen. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but then I had to wait for, like, my yogurt to thaw and stuff like that. So, I just thought that was interesting. Um, have the coffee and tea station on top of the desk area. Um, my bed. A little chair. Complimentary water, TV, you got this little sitting area by the um, window. I'm sorry y'all, I'm just so exhausted, like we got up so early. This is the view. This is actually a really nice view. I'm on the 24th floor. This looks really pretty, actually. So, like I said, I think I'm gonna try and take a nap because I'm really tired. And then we're also on West Coast time and I'm not trying to be on West Coast time. I'm trying to like stay on my East Coast schedule so I'm not out of whack. My pickup time is at 5.25 in the morning. 
which will be 825 in in Atlanta so tomorrow I have Sacramento to Atlanta then we do Atlanta to Birmingham Birmingham back to Atlanta and that completes my day if they don't attach anything else to my schedule because I'm on call for six days straight so they could very well use me and not even send me home um, or reroute me so I'm trying to plan like I'm just trying to set myself up for the day like try to get as much sleep because the flight back to Atlanta is going to be long and then I just want to kind of be prepared for whatever so <sighs> that's that hey what's up y'all um just checking back in with y'all I did take a nap that nap was so good I got up I worked out this TV also has YouTube. Y'all don't understand. It be the little things for me. Like, I really love that. Because trying to work out on my phone really is not it. But, um, I did my workout. I just took a shower. Um, and I'm getting my stuff ready for tomorrow. Let me show y'all my bag. Okay, so, this is my bag. I packed entirely way too much. Okay, so, first of all. This is like my bigger suitcase. I don't really use this one anymore because it's really big and um, it only has two wheels. And for me, I feel like it's easier to move with the spinner that has four wheels. And this will be my last time carrying this bag. Um, I'm just gonna have to make the smaller bag fit. I think I've got so accustomed to um, carrying the four-wheeler that this was just like a struggle for me my arms are sore from the workout and they're also sore from pulling this heavy bag I have a whole bunch of things in here that I didn't even use because I don't think that they're going to reroute me um I think that I'll be able to finish tomorrow and I'll just be back on Monday um so I packed a whole bunch of stuff but better safe than sorry because I think I told y'all before that the last time I had six days straight, I did not go home and I was not prepared for that at all. Barely had any clothes to last me by the time I got to the fourth or fifth day. So yeah, this is what I have. But all day today, like I had to take my book out, my water out. Like I had to take so much stuff out of my bag so that it could fit in the bin. And it was just like inconvenient for me. So I'm not doing this again. But... I like to pack majority of my stuff the night before because I am forgetful. Um, the only thing that I'm not packing right now is my workout clothes because they're still wet. So I want to like let that dry a little bit. Um, I don't know if I showed y'all my crew tag. Ain't she cute? It's me. Look at the fro. Girl, it's me. <laughs> so I start my day at 4.30 tomorrow and I end it at 8.30 tomorrow. So, it's the glamorous life. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to check in. I don't really have much to say for real. Um, I'm going to just try to go to sleep. I've been reading uh, my book. It's so good, y'all. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it's so good. Like, it's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. I'm probably going to read this again as soon as I finish it just because sometimes I feel like when I read a book twice one I get a different perspective two if I missed anything um the first time I'll get it the second time three because I like it to stick so um I'm trying to form like a good habit for when I'm on my layovers this trip I struggle because I was consistent with my workouts but it's really hard for me to stay consistent on my stories um because I'm in the air a lot, so um, I'm going to work on that. But if you are if you feel like you're not really consistent or you feel like, you know, you just need to make be more efficient, make your time worthwhile, get more done in a day, I feel like this book is a great read because it focuses on your habits and not really your goals. And if you focus on your habits, then you would attain your goals. So, yeah, I'm going to read that until I go to sleep. And, yeah, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey, what's up, y'all? I don't think I got on camera today. 
Um, I don't know, I don't remember. But today was day three of my trip and I'm back home. Um, it is eight, well, it's 8.40. I got home at 8.30. Literally, all I did was get in, wash my hands, and change into some workout clothes so I can do a 10-minute workout. After I do my workout, I'm going to get back on and prepare for my day tomorrow. I don't know where I'm going yet. They still haven't given me a trip. So hopefully, by the time I finish working out, I will um, be assigned something. But even if I'm not, I'm just going to pack what I know I need. You know what I mean? Um, and then I'll talk about all of that once I'm packing. So I'm gonna go work out and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm swapping um, suitcases. So I'm going to put the stuff that's in this suitcase, in my old suitcase over here. I'm gonna put it to this one because I don't like this suitcase. I like the one that has um, four wheels, which I explained earlier. Um, oh, I think I did get on. Okay, so first thing I gotta make sure is that I have my accountable items. So, what is this, what is this for? Oh, duh, did y'all see what I just did? <laughs> okay, so the accountable items that I keep in my suitcase are these, and this is like our COVID accountable items. So I have like my thermometer and my goggles. I've never worn these, but I carry them because I have to. Um, so I put that in there. Uh, I'm gonna swap out stuff that I wanna wash and put them to the side in this ad. So first things first, I never ever sleep in somebody's hotel without my sleeping sheet. I will have this linked in my Amazon, well, it is in my Amazon store, and I'll have my Amazon store linked in the description. So basically, this is like a sleeping sheet, and it's kind of like the same concept of like a sleeping bag, so I don't have to put my face on the hotel pillows and stuff. So I do carry this. Um, it might be extreme to y'all, but I've been in some questionable places and some questionable rooms and I cannot sleep and feel comfortable in a situation like that. So I always bring my sleeping sheet. Hey y'all, good morning. Um, my camera died last night. So it's the next day, the start of my next eight day trip. And I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna tell y'all about it. It's so crazy that this is what the vlog is gonna be like because I did not anticipate it turning out this way. So um, this vlog is not gonna be glamorous. It's not, it's, it's actually gonna be the anti of glamorous, okay? So let me tell y'all. So I made my, um, I, I made my food. All I made was like some vegetable soup and um, I had some leftover ZD and protein shakes. And I, I'm gonna pack some fruits. I have a pineapple that I'm about to peel in a little bit and I'm gonna pack that with my yogurts and I should be okay. Um, last night I went to sleep. I told y'all that I didn't get assigned a trip and that sometimes they can assign me a trip really late in the morning. So I went to sleep around like, I want to say like 11.30, 11, 11.30. And um, I set an alarm for 2 a.m. to see if they're giving me a trip. At 2 a.m. they have not given me a trip. I set an, another alarm for 3.30. Check my schedule, they have not given me a trip. 4.30, have not given me a trip. Okay, so then I just stopped scheduling, like, you know, setting that alarm because the earlier in the morning they will give me a call so my phone will ring you know so i stopped and i just slept i slept up until like eight o'clock this morning got up worked out and um took a shower still have not given me a trip i probably got out the shower around like 
9.30. It's like 10.16 right now. Still have not given me a trip. So I'm looking on the board to see what my options are. I see this one particular trip. And when I tell you the devil be listening, oh my God. So I look on like, we have um, this thing called open time where you can see all this, the flights that need to be scheduled. And I'm looking at the flights and I'm looking at this one particular trip. And I'm like, I do not want that trip. Girl. As soon as I said that, who called me? Crew scheduling, giving me what trip? The trip I did not want. Let me let me just explain this trip to you because I cannot show it to you, but I will ex explain this trip. If I had to, um, if I had to give you an idea of what a terrible trip is, to me, this is it. If I had to tell you what a trip that I would never want to fly is, it's this trip, okay? I, I've never gotten a flight like this ever, and I'm desperately trying to get off of this trip. It's hard to do that because I'm on A day, so you can't swap out of your trip into another one like I would be able to do if they scheduled me as a regular trip. So my only chances of getting out of this is moving up into an A position. I said like three prayers before I turned this camera on and I prayed to God. I said, please take this trip off my schedule, Lord. Please take this trip off my schedule. I called crew scheduling and I said, what are my chances like? What are my chances and what are my options of getting out of this trip? And I promise y'all, um, I'm not being dramatic. So I told y'all that I like to fly high. Let me explain. Let me explain this trip to you so you understand what I'm saying. I'm so aggravated. Because I'm just like, when did y'all want to give me this? Like, okay, let's break down the trip. So, this trip is worth 14. Hold on, let me turn off my notifications. This trip is worth 14 hours and 18 minutes for a three day trip. So, I told y'all that I only like to fly high time, which is 17 hours and above. This is like such a waste of time because you can fly a two-day trip with more credit than that this is not worth a lot for me like at all this is probably like the least you can do on a three-day trip three days and you're only working 14 hours that's bad that is like not it at all all right i'm supposed to sign in at 4 40 i'm and i'm going from atlanta to to Las Vegas. That is blocked for a four hour and 21 minute flight. Then I'm sitting, like, so I think I explained to y'all what a sit is, is that break in between flights. I sit in Las Vegas for two and a half hours. Let me tell you why that's not great. We don't have a base or a flight attendant lounge in Las Vegas. So I'm gonna have to try to sleep on a plane if I have to keep this trip. I do not like to have long sits out of base because it's uncomfortable for me. I would rather have a long sit in a in a base that has a flight attendant lounge for us so we can sleep. You know, usually our lounges have like sleep rooms and stuff like that. I'm able to sleep, I'm able to get my bearings together, get some coffee and like, you know, just kind of like get ready. And I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay. Then Las Vegas, from there, after that sit. Also, sits make you more sleepy because you're not doing anything. You're, you're not doing anything, especially if you don't get to take a nap. Okay, then I'm going from Las Vegas to Raleigh-Durham, and it's an all-nighter. I think for real, for real, that is the worst part of this trip. I do not do red eyes. I do not do all-nighters, and it's the fact that I'm not going to be able to sleep now because I just had coffee thinking that I wasn't going to get a, a red eye. So there's no way I could take a nap right now. Then, um, like I just don't do red eyes because there's nothing more like, to me, in my opinion, it's nothing harder than being tired and watching a whole plane of people sleep and you know that you cannot fall asleep. And I've never done, who's this? Child, if it's not crew scheduling, give me another trip. I don't want to talk. Okay, so, like I was saying, 
red eyes are really hard i didn't get to sleep well because i set an alarm every hour last night trying to see if they gave me a trip i can't sleep now the day starts at 4 40 and i'm gonna be working that flight from 9 30 to 5 a.m y'all i'm just like ugh. And then I have a 22-hour layover in Raleigh, Durham, which is gonna make, which is gonna be me sleeping and working out. I know I'm not gonna have time or the energy to do anything else. Then I leave Raleigh, Durham, at 5:14, and don't get home. Well, I get home early. I get home at 1:30. But this is like, if you ask me what a trip from hell consists of, this is the trip from hell. There's nothing positive about this trip. I'm the most junior on this trip. Like, I'm not the most junior. There's somebody junior to me. That don't even matter, honestly. It's not worth a lot of money. It's a red eye. It's long flights. It's Atlanta to Las Vegas. I was just talking, like that route is just different because everybody wants to party, everybody wants to drink. Uh, I, I, it's like nothing I, the, I can't tell you one positive thing about this trip and I was thinking about it because I was like don't be a negative Nancy don't be that don't do that but I am her there's nothing positive about this trip so um, I'm going to go lay down I'm not doing a thing I was actually going to try and take pictures for some content I'm not doing that I'm not going to do anything that's going to tire me out more because since I'm not going to go to sleep I want to relax Hopefully the coffee doesn't work and I can fall asleep from now until three. I already have my uniform ironed. My bag is packed with the exception of my food. Um, I do freeze my food for the first day so I don't have to put, you know, keep putting ice on it. So I froze my soups and my protein shakes. Um, and what else was I going to say to y'all? What else? What else? What else? My hair, I kind of just refreshed the front and just did like twisted it a little bit. Um, because I had like the little flat twist and I don't want to wear my hair like that anymore. I just kind of want to wear it out with the middle part. Um, so that's all I got to do. Um, but I'm going to hop back on at 1130 and I'm going to let y'all know if I have to keep this trip or not. All right, y'all. So I wasn't able to get my trip removed, so I'm going to have to end up working this. Um... I don't feel any better about it. I'm going to just go and do what I need to do, but I'm not looking forward to going to work. And I don't want to do this trip. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just be positive and yeah, I probably won't see y'all for the rest of the day. Um, but my game plan is to try to take a nap on the plane during that sit and then um when i get up for the next flight i'm probably gonna have a red bull um but i'm probably gonna have it like at phases of the flight where i'm not really doing much because if i'm up and i'm about then like you know my body knows that we're gonna be up this is gonna throw off my sleep schedule completely um but yeah, it's whatever. So I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie, this this ruined my whole day. Like it, like ugh, like I don't even want to vlog. But I do want to um, let y'all know the trip that I got, and I'm stuck with it. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, my lighting was just so trash, but I wanted to check back in with y'all. I hope you don't hear this music. Um, but I wanted to check back in with y'all because I'm in Las Vegas, and I have my little sit. Um, the first flight wasn't too bad. I went and bought a Red Bull just in case I get tired. My plan was to nap right now, but the plane doesn't get here until 8 o'clock. And by the time the plane gets here and they clean the plane and everything, it's going to be time for me to board. And I don't want to sleep like right here in the airport. So I'm going to really have to thug it out. Um, so that's my update. So far, it's not so bad. The flight back is about four hours and 30 minutes hopefully it's going to be shorter than that but um 
I could do it. I could do this. When I go, when I get to the hotel tomorrow, that sleep is gonna be so good. Like, so, so good. So yeah, um, I'm in the airport. I really don't feel like getting up and giving y'all a tour, but I feel like, I feel like I should. So this vlog isn't just me talking. Hey y'all, so I literally just woke up. I'm exhausted. My body feels tired. Um, it is one o'clock. Um, I got in at around six. No, I got in, <clears throat> I got in at like 5.20 and I was in bed by six. Um, knocked out y'all, I was not playing. So, it wasn't the trip wasn't that bad but I don't care to do it again like <clears throat> I was looking at my schedule and I realized that I have a couple of red eyes for next month so I'm gonna try to get out of it <sighs> because it's, it's kind of it is hard staying up and it's gonna mess up my routine um and today like like I said it's one o'clock my pickup time for tomorrow morning is at 344 so I might have to go to bed like early I'm so lazy I'm starving right now I really don't want the food that I brought um, I made <laughs> the soup remember and I don't want that I don't want the ziti I really want sushi um, but I don't feel like going nowhere I'm trying to be in bed by like somebody six o'clock okay um yeah I'm trying to be in bed by six so that I can get enough sleep. Um but I'm tired, I'm lazy, I don't really have a coat other than my work coat. Um and it's cold here. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> if Atlanta cold then you know, North Carolina gonna be cold. So yeah, I just wanted to check in, show y'all. Um Yeah, let me show y'all the room. <laughs> I'm so tired. Let me show y'all this room. I think I'm just gonna fight the laziness, take a shower, and just head out. Um, so, let me tell you about this hotel before I show you the room. When I first started, a lot of people said that this hotel was haunted. I don't believe it. I slept. I slept real good. Not a ghost in sight. <laughs> Not a ghost in sight. Um, I really wish they would like stop that rumor because I, f I believe in ghosts and I feel like it's a serious thing. But this hotel is not haunted. What it is is old. Okay, it gives you an old vibe. There's a whole bunch of old people on the walls. <laughs> the furniture, the look, everything is just old. Um, but I just think it's so crazy how no matter when you start. Everybody says that this hotel is haunted. New people, senior people. It's like, <laughs> would y'all would y'all stop? But um, yeah, I just thought I wanted to tell you that. I thought it was funny. So let me just show you the room. I have on socks. <laughs> so walking in, this is what you see. There's a big mirror here, um, and then I have the bathroom behind me. It has like two doors. It's not that spacious at all. I mean, it's it's decent, but it's not super spacious, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So yeah, that's the toilet. This is the sink where I have all my stuff just laid out. Um, another mirror. So like, to open the shower, you would have to close this door, so that's kinda what I mean. But this is the shower. It's just a standard shower. Yeah. 
so yeah that's pretty much it to the bathroom um the bathroom actually doesn't look that old but like look at the lights you know what i'm saying like that looks old the wood has like a little bench um that's the bed the bed looks old the bedding looks old um this is the what you call this like a unit a wall unit i don't know what you call this but that looks very old <laughs> um so this is it they gave us robes i love when they give us robes um iron and ironing board over here is the tv the tv oh y'all <laughs> it's funny um so yeah we have that then here is the coffee and tea station and your ice bucket and stuff like that this room does not come with a microwave but the last time i was here they were able to bring a microwave to my room child okay i just threw this in i said i'm gonna hang up the sweater but i'm not hanging up everything so i just threw my coat right in there that's my fridge full of food that i don't even want um i got two beds this is the bed that i slept in and i have um in my first flight attendant vlog, I showed y'all my sleeping sheet. So this is what I sleep on. I don't sleep directly on the pillows and the sheet. I kind of put the sheet over me and then I put the blanket over me. Um, it's the phone and the light, a little chair. This is the desk area. And I have a beautiful view of the parking lot. This hotel only has three floors. I'm on the second floor. So yeah. Um, this is it. I might take y'all with me when I go. I don't know if I'm going to eat at the sushi place. I'm going to think about it while I get ready. So, this is the room. I'll see y'all when I'm done. Okay, this angle is hella weird, but um, I don't have much space to put my tripod up here. And if I put it on top of like the tissue, it's too low. Believe it or not, this is a little bit higher. Um, so, here's my thing I'm trying to think about right now. So, um, I told you I wanted to go to Target. And um, I realized that I forgot my sweater at home. Because I had changed my outfit. Like, I'm going to show you what I have on. But I had changed my outfit from what I packed. Because I was like, you know what, I'm probably not going to take pictures. Because sometimes, like, if I wear jeans and stuff, it's because I plan on, like, plan, trying to see if I can take pictures or something. Um, but I didn't want to bring my tripod, so, um, yeah, I ended up changing my outfit into just some sweats, but when I did that, I forgot to change the sweater, and I left the sweater at my house, so, um, I don't really want to wear my work coat out because it's so big and bulky, and it's not really that cold, like, the temperature right now is sunny, and it's 56. I'm trying to like bet it's 56 right now. So y'all think I could walk to Target real quick and get a sweatshirt and not freeze my ass off? <laughs> I think I can. Cause you know when you walk, it don't make you hot. So maybe I do that and walk faster. <laughs> I don't know, but. I'm just doing my skincare. I'm about to take my hair down. Did y'all see how my hair came out yesterday? I feel like it came out so good. Um, it came out so good. The fact that this camera is staying up. I'm impressed. Um, ooh, moisturize. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Even though I feel like I'm wasting money. Going to buy a sweatshirt. Okay. So, I'm going to put some oil on my hands just a little bit though. Hey y'all, so I actually did not get to close out this vlog. What I ended up doing was just throwing on this outfit and going to get the sushi and I brought it right back to the hotel. Didn't even go to Target to get the sweatshirt because I didn't need it. But um, 
this is pretty much the end of my trip. Sorry I forgot. I hope y'all like this video. I feel like I did rant a lot, but I wanted to give y'all the pros and the cons of this flight attendant life. And this was probably one of the most frustrating trips, which didn't even end up to be that bad. But yeah, thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.